Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. So I'm continuing with my back to school series and this video I'm going to be showing you hacks for back to school. So I hope you guys find this helpful and these just kind of show you different tricks to better yourself and make high school a little bit easier. And even middle school or college too, these can work for any type of school. Alright, so let's get on with the hacks. So my first hack is to use a planner and this is super helpful for keeping track of all your homework assignments so you don't forget them and it's just super helpful in organizing your thoughts. So this next one is copy your essay or whatever paper you're writing and then paste it into Google Translate and then play it on the audio so you can hear it and then you can listen for any types of mistakes. Next is get ahead whenever possible. If you have the opportunity to get ahead and work on an assignment that you know is due in like a week or a few days or something like that, start it now. That way if something comes up, you can still have it done. Next, go to wordhippo.com and type in a word. And with this, you will get a list of synonyms for this word. And this is super helpful for writing papers if you want to spice up your language and word usage. Next, you can go to google.com and type in something such as volcanic eruptions. And as you see in Google, you'll see some articles, but not all of these are trusted or accurate. So what you can do is go to scholar.google.com and this will take you to Google Scholar. Type in the same thing and then you will find a lot of articles written by credible people and really just accurate and thorough. This next one is to create a playlist for exactly as long as you have to get ready. And with this, you can listen to music as you get ready, which is super motivating. But at the same time, once you get to that final song, you really will know when you got to speed it up and get going. So don't know how to solve a math problem? Go to mathway.com and type in any type of problem and you can find the answer, whether it's in a graph or x and y intercepts. As you can see here, there's a lot of different things. So pretty much any type of math problem, it'll show you how to do it. And this is super helpful for homework problems if you don't understand the concepts. Next is surround yourself with positive, motivated people. If you're with people who tend to slack off, you're going to take after those habits. But if you're around people who are smart and positive and motivated to get their work done, those traits are going to rub off on you and you're going to start to act in the same way, which will help you get things done and be happy. So this next one is type in your paper into the Hemingway app, and this is also a website or an app, but you can copy and paste into here, and it'll tell you the readability, the number of words, passive voice, adverbs, a simpler alternative, hard to read, and it'll really just tear apart your work to make it sound a whole lot better. So next is to exercise, and exercise is important not only for physical health, but also for mental, and by exercising, you will become more motivated and more energetic to get your stuff done, and it will really help with school. My next tip is to take colorful notes, and as you can see, all my benefits to taking colorful notes, it, they're easier to read, grabs your attention, keeps you focused, helps with memorization, really useful for visual learners, fun, easier to organize thoughts, keeps notes looking clean, emphasizing key points, boosts creativity, and you can also use highlighters. All of this is super helpful in looking at notes after class and helps you study for tests. Next is pretend you will have to teach the material. If you can't teach the material, then you don't know the material. So really just focus on teaching the material to either your siblings or stuffed animals, whatever it is. If you know how to teach it, then you really know that you can understand the concepts that are being taught. Next is write it out. If you have to memorize things, write them out four times. Writing something out just one time is the equivalent of reading it seven times. And if you can see, I wrote it out four times. So if you write it out four times, seven times four equals 28 times. So just by writing something out four times each, that will be the equivalent of reading it 28 times and it will really be ingrained into your brain and mind and everything. Next, eat a healthy lunch. Studies have been proven 
and it shows that eating a healthier lunch and having healthier foods really boosts your energy and keeps you more motivated to get work done. And if you're feeling sluggish, you're not going to want to do work. And overall, this is just super important for mental health and brain fitness. Just a key tip, affect versus effect. So effect is a noun while affect is a verb. Effect is only a verb if you are referring to affecting a change. To know if you're using effect correctly as a verb, replace it with to bring about and see if it makes sense. But overall, affect equals verb, effect equals noun. And here are my examples. So for affect, I had his classes affect how he views the world. And see, this is just used as a verb, whereas the effect version, by wearing his glasses, there was a positive effect on his vision. Next, study notes the same day you took them. By studying notes after class every day, you really just know the material and you're prepared for class the next day, which will help you learn. And overall, you're not cramming to study something right before the test because you'll already know the material because you've been spending a little bit of time each day studying. Always restate the question. This is super important on pretty much any assignment you have, tests, homework, quizzes, anything. So, example, why is it important to restate the question in your answer? Well, it is important to restate the question in your answer, which is the restatement, because it allows you to make sure your answer makes sense and correctly answers what the question is looking for, and most teachers require students to restate the question. All state exams require this. Guys, do homework as soon as you get home. That way, you have no room to procrastinate later on, and if you're feeling tired later, you don't have to worry about it. You're already in the school mentality as soon as you get home, so get it done then. This next hack is to chew gum while studying. Studies show that if you chew gum while studying something and then chew it the next day taking the test, you're going to remember the information easier. This one is an important safety tip. So if you feel like someone is following you when you're driving home from school or real, really anywhere, take four right turns. If they're still behind you, then obviously they are following you. So go to a public place until they leave and or call 911 if it is really serious. Next, make flashcards. These are super helpful when it comes to words and definitions or when learning a language. So these are super helpful either in paper form or on the internet. If you use Quizlet, you can really put together some flashcards online very easily. Next, learn your learning style. So there are four main types, visual, auditory, kinesthetic, and reading slash writing. And once you know what type of learner you are, this is super helpful in helping you study and learn new material. So auditory, you learn better listening to things. Kinesthetic is more hands-on. Visual is seeing and reading slash writing would be to read the material and or write it out. Next, practice chunking. So with chunking, do 20 minutes of studying and a five minute break or however you want to break up your studying and break time depending on how much work you have. This will make you more focused and you get a break in between each study time so you don't feel overwhelmed and stressed. Next, at the beginning of the school year, take a picture of your schedule and set it as your lock screen. And this is just so it's easier to get. This one is a motivator for reading things. And basically, if you have a lot to read, put gummy worms or whatever other candy or food item on different sections. That way, you are rewarded for every section you read. For all my fellow AP students, I would recommend getting an AP review book at the beginning of the year. That way throughout the school year you can study this book while you're taking the class and you can get ahead so you're not cramming to study for the AP exam a week before the test because I have done that before and I have suffered a lot. So get the AP review books. I recommend five steps to a five. That's been super helpful. Also, get a folder for each class and color code your subjects so it's easier to access and you have everything organized for each class and do the same with your notebook. I also recommend having a homework side of a folder and an extra worksheet side of the folder. That way, you don't forget your homework if you forget to write it down. You will see that paper and see, oh hey, I have homework. Next, I recommend bringing a mini stapler to school and this is just helpful so you don't have to worry about getting a stapler at school and going up to the front of the class or passing it around, sharing it, whatever. You have your own stapler, you could do it last minute and everything is a-okay. Next, bring an emergency bag to school every day with feminine products, some chapstick, 
some tissues, a nail file. Also, look how cool this nail file is. It's like ombre and blue. It's awesome. Okay, some floss and hair ties and band-aids because you never know what's going to happen. Some deodorant if you take gym class or even if you don't, deodorant's important. If I can get it in. And then zip it all up and this is just super important for any kind of emergency you may have at school. Also what I like to do is go to my settings and hit battery and then I like to turn my phone on to low power mode all throughout the school day and this really doesn't affect much on my phone but it saves my battery like you wouldn't believe. So my battery lasts all throughout the school day, I don't have to worry about charging it at school. Next, drink lots of water. Water will help boost your brain activity and also just staying hydrated is super important and if your school does not allow water then that's terrible but definitely make sure you drink water as soon as you get home and just stay hydrated and healthy. So if you are spending all of your time doing homework or studying and don't have time to shower, get some dry shampoo out and this will just wash your hair without needing to get in the shower. Real quick, you can touch up any oil in your roots. Also, be prepared with all sorts of writing utensils throughout the school day because you really never know what your teachers are going to ask for and what is going to happen. And last but not least, I like to look at dictionary.com and Merriam-Webster dictionaries. I have their apps and basically I get to look at the word of the day every day and this really just boosts vocabulary which will be helpful on tests, especially AC. Alright, so thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys find, found these help. Bleh, bleh. I hope you guys found these hacks to be helpful and if you use any of them, let me know. And if you have any um, desired videos or suggestions, please leave me a comment below or just to say hello or be friendly or if you like this video. Leave me lots of comments. I love receiving comments. And be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Oh, and check out my other social media accounts. Alright guys, well, I will see you soon. Bye-bye.